Hello dear students, our today's topic is a very very interesting topic and it is about the names of first 1000 straight chain alkanes. So let's look how these first 1000 alkanes are given the IUPAC names. As you all are very well aware that the general formula of alkanes is CN H2N plus 2 where N is the number of carbon atoms means if N is equal to 1 it will become C1 H4 so likewise we can make the formula of the other alkanes also we just have to put the number if N is equal to 2 it will become C2 H6 and so on for naming the alkane we will use combination of prefix and suffix in all the cases the suffix is a n e which is taken from a n e of alkane now the prefix is used for first four alkanes are derived from their natural sources we know that the first four alkanes are methane, ethane, propane and butane. So when the number of carbon is 1, the formula is CH4 and we will call this very first alkane as methane. Here this meth is a prefix taken from the word for the marsh gas as we all know that CH4 is called as the marsh gas and it is occurring naturally when the number of carbon is 2 the formula is C2H6 and we will call this alkane as ethane where this eth stands for the consumable alcohol and it is a German word the next is N is equal to 3 the formula is C3H8 and this straight chain alkane is called as pro here this prefix prop is taken from propionic acid this propionic acid is nothing but the first fatty acid the next is n is equal to 4 where the formula becomes c4h10 and the alkane is called as butane this but prefix is taken from butyric acid which is the first acid obtained from the butter. So these four alkanes are named by picking their prefixes from the natural sources. Now the next of the alkanes are named as per their numeral prefixes. For example, for number 5, we will use the prefix penta so the alkane having formula C5H12 is called as pentane likewise when n is equal to 6 it is hexane for 7 it will become heptane the alkane containing 8 carbons in straight chain is called octane the one with 9 carbons is called as nonane and the one with 10 carbons is called as decane here as you all see that the prefixes are penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona and deca and in all the cases the suffix is n. For number 11 the formula becomes C11H24 and this alkane is called as undecane. With 12 carbons it will become dodecane, for 13 it is tridecane, for 14 it is tetradecane and for 15 it is pentadecane. Next move on to the next alkanes. The one with 16 carbons in a straight chain have the formula C16H34 and is called as hexadecane. One with 17 is heptadecane, one with oct. 18 carbons is called as octadecane then is the nonadecane with 19 carbons and the alkane with 20 carbons in straight chain having the formula C20H42 
is called as eco scene now dear students please keep this point in mind that after n equal to 20 the numbers like 21 31 41 51 61 71 81 90 101 and so on they are named using the prefix hen followed by the name of the previous alkane for example the alkane with 21 carbons is called as hen eicosane as i said that for one we will use the prefix hen and before 21 is the alkane containing 20 carbons and is called as eicosane so 21 is called as hen eicosane you will see this trend in the next alkanes also now one more important point is that the numbers like 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 are given the name using the numeral prefixes along with the suffix a contain for example the alkane with 30 carbons is called as tri a contain here for 3 we will use the prefix tri and for whole 30 round of figure we will use a contain so it will become tri a contain likewise the alkane with 40 carbons is called as tetra contain so let's look at some important alkanes so the one with 21 carbons is called as henicosane with 22 it is docosane with 23 it is tricosane with 24 it is tetracosane with 25 it is pentacosane and as we move on to 30 it is called as triacontane so the 31 carbon containing alkane is called as hen triacontane the alkane with 40 carbons is now called as tetracontane one with 41 carbons is called as hen tetracontane with 50 carbons in the straight chain it is pentacotin now the alkane with 51 carbons in the straight chain is called as hen pentacontane with 52 it is called as do pentacontane so i hope that you are getting the sequence and naming of this alcohols sorry the alkanes the alkane with 60 carbons is called as hexa contain with 61 it is called as hen hexa contain with 70 it is called as hepta contain with 71 it is called as hen hepta contain for the alkane containing 80 carbons in straight chain the name is octa contain for 81 we will use the name hen octa contain for the one containing 90 carbons we have the name nona contain for the one having 91 carbons we will have the name hen nona contain for the alkane having 99 carbons in a straight chain the name is you can guess very easily it is nona nona contain and yes the one having 100 carbons in a straight chain is called as hectane so hect is taken from the word hectare which is nothing but the dimension of 100 by 100 when we move on to the next numbers suppose an alkane consists of 101 carbons in a straight chain its formula become c101 h204 its name is hany hectane as i said earlier that for one now we will use the prefix hen and for 100 we will use the suffix hectane so in this way it will become hany hectane for the alkane having 200 carbons the name is dictane for 300 carbons the name is trictane for 400 it is tetractane for 500 it is pentactane the one having 600 carbons having the formula 
C600, H1202 is called as hexoctane. For the alkane containing C100 carbons, the name is heptoctane. For the alkane having 800 carbons, the name is now octoctane. For the alkane having 900 carbons, the name is nonoctane. And the one having the 1000 carbons in a straight chain is called as chiliane. This chili is taken from the word kilo. Kilo stands for thousand. So for thousand we will use the prefix chili followed by the suffix an. So it will become chiliate. So dear students, let's look how we can easily give the name to any alkane from carbon number 1 to carbon number 1000. Suppose we are dealing with an alkane containing 45 carbons. So our duty is just to split the number 45 into 5 plus 40. 45 is written as 5 plus 40. So for 5 we will use the prefix penta and for 40 we will use the suffix tetracontane. So collectively for 45 the name is penta tetracontane. In the same way suppose we are dealing with an alkane containing 97 carbons. So once again we split 97 as 7 plus 90. For 7 we will use the prefix hepta. For 90 we will use the suffix nona contain. So collectively for 97 it will become hepta nona contain. Let's move on to the next example. Suppose we are going to write down the name for an alkane containing 267 carbons. So the 267 will be split as 7 plus 60 plus 200. So for 7 and 60 we will use the prefixes. For 7 the prefix is hepta. For 60 the prefix is hexaconta. And the 200 will be given the suffix. And for 200 the suffix is dictate. So collectively for 267 the name is hepta hexaconta dictin. For 7 it is hepta, for 60 it is hexaconta and for 200 it is dictin. Likewise look at this last example. Suppose we are going to give the IPC name to an alkane containing 942 carbons in a straight chain. So again we split the number 942 as 2 plus 40 plus 900. So for 2 we will use the prefix do. For 40 we will use tetraconta and for 900 we will use the suffix nona ten. So for 942 the name is do tetraconta nona ten. So dear friends that is all about the very interesting topic the names of first 1000 straight chain alkanes. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.